Hi everyone, welcome back to our distance learning. It's me again, teacher Jenny. For our first session, everyone, we are going to study Hangout 6 student book. Now take out your Hangout 6 student book and open your textbook to page 12. We are going to continue our unit for today, unit 1, our environment. And we are going to read the Nadir's opinion paper on page 12. So let's read all together. Part A, Nadir's or Nadir's opinion paper. There are many ways to help the environment, but I think having green areas is the most important. Green areas are great for many reasons. First, green areas offer clean air. There's too much pollution in cities. But green areas have little pollution. And there are many trees, so the air is clean and fresh. This is good for people's health. Next, green areas are good places to exercise and get fit. Many people ride bikes, walk, run, and play sports there. These activities are fun and a great way to spend a day outside. Last, green areas are very beautiful and peaceful. Cities are busy and have too many traffic jams. In some cities, there is litter everywhere. Green areas, however, are usually clean with little garbage. So, they look nice and smell fresh. These are the reasons why I think green areas are important. In my city, there are not enough green areas. I hope we get more of them. So this is the Nadir's opinion paper from part A. So you can read this one one more time. And let's answer part B. We have four questions in here. Now, the first question is, what is the main idea of Nadir's paper? A. Green areas need a lot of space. B. Green areas are important. C. Green areas are beautiful and peaceful. So, what do you think is the correct answer, everyone? It's letter B, correct. So let's answer B, green areas are important. So B, everyone, you can check the box in here. And also, next is number two, does Nadir think there's too much pollution in green areas? Is it yes or no? So the correct answer, everyone, is no, of course. Next, number three is, what do people do in green areas? What do you think the people do in green areas? You can share your answer into your group or let's answer in the whiteboard so in, according to his opinion green areas exercise and get fit so the answer is exercise and get fit so these are the activities of the people when they are doing something in green areas. Next, number four, our last question. What does Nader think about the number of green areas in his city? So, 
the answer is there are not enough green areas. So the answer is there are not enough green areas in his city. Okay. So these are the answers for our part B reading. Now for your extra exercise or practice for today, you are going to talk about your city. How many green areas do you have in your city? Okay, you can share your answers into your study group or you can also comment down in this video how many green areas do you think do you have? in your city so that's it everyone this is the end of our first session so we are going uh we talk about nadir's opinion paper so according to your opinion talk about your environment how many green areas do you have okay so this is the end of our first session everyone stay tuned we are going to do some more lessons later in our second session. See you again later. Goodbye.